Hi there, students. Okay, here we have another writing at C2 for the Cambridge proficiency. And this is the exercise where you compare two texts. So it says, read the two texts below. Write an MA essay summarizing and evaluating the key points from both texts. Use your own words throughout as far as possible and include your own ideas in your answers. Write your answer in 240 to 280 words. Dress and image. So this is the first text. When professionals such as bank managers or lawyers wear formal clothes, they are often sending out a clear signal that they wish to maintain a degree of distance and detachment from those they serve. Their style of dress suggests that the atmosphere is unlikely to be light-hearted or relaxed. In fact, there is no doubt that many of us would be somewhat uncomfortable if we walked into the office of a bank manager or lawyer who was dressed casually. Somehow, formal clothes communicate the message, I am competent and you can trust me, and naturally we feel reassured by this. The impact of dress. Many jobs involve wearing a uniform, but the authority this suggests can be intimidating to some people who may instinctively feel that they are put at a disadvantage. For some purposes, therefore, such as when the police have to deal with particularly vulnerable people, informal clothes may be more appropriate. Of course, there are some important public occasions, such as coronations and state funerals, for which the wearing of elaborate formal dress is an integral part of the ceremony. It might be deemed disrespectful if this critical custom were not observed. And the answer by Vyacheslav. Thank you, Vyacheslav. Here we go. We live in an era where many people would like to have more liberty, especially when it comes to the way they dress good first sentence. However, there are still many positions and occasions that require particular formal attire for good reason. Okay, this essay will shed some light on the topic of formal clothing and its importance in the modern world. Let me check the second one again. However, there are still many positions, jobs, where well, positions works, and occasions that require a particular attire for good reason. Yeah, it works very well. Good first paragraph, no corrections. The first excerpt, good word, explains to us the hidden message conveyed by formal, by formal clothes I think by the formal clothes of lawyers, bank managers and the likes. I like this word, the likes, because the specific formal clothes that they wear. On the one hand, many of us might feel that managers wearing formal garb are aloof while we communicate with them which is not conducive to creating an amicable ambiance. However, if they were to be dressed in jeans and a t-shirt, we would be very unlikely to use their services due to the seeming incompetence exuded by such an appearance. Therefore, formal clothes, clothing is seen fit in such situations is seen fit in such situations this is actually very good let's see on on the one hand many of us might feel 
that managers. So notice you've cut, you've moved from bank managers to managers because a manager would be somebody in the office, somebody who is managing uh, staff. And this is not necessarily um, a bank manager. And I'm, I think you really need to put bank managers if you mean bank managers. If you mean um, uh, so, uh, so somebody with power in the office than a manager. Managers wearing formal garb are aloof while we communicate them, which is not conducive to creating an amicable ambiance. Okay, now, however, if they were to be dressed, it's okay. So, let's, however, were they dressed in jeans and a t-shirt we would be very unlikely uh, to use their services this next this last bit it's a bit formal it's not wrong but it, it, it goes a bit over the top that would like to use their Due to we'd be very unlikely to use their circumstances. As a result of their seeming as a re as a result of their appearance giving the giving an impression of incompetence I'm sorry I've corrected what you put previously because it's not wrong but I think it goes over the top with formality um, and I think it probably reads better like this However, were they dressed in jeans and a t-shirt, we would be very unlikely to use their services as a result of their, their appearance giving an impression of incompetence. Therefore, formal clothing is seen fit in such situations. In the second... So, this is really, really good. Um, I'm very happy with it, VHS Love, so far. I hope the second half is that good. In the second passage, the author describes some occasions of appropriate use alongside ones when the when the ones when I think a strict dress code may cause harm. In the second passage, the author describes some occasions of appropriate use alongside ones alongside others when a strict dress code may cause harm nothing wrong with what you've written he or she elaborates on the idea I always prefer they saves you words as well they elaborate on the idea mentioned in the first text that some people may be stressed while con uh, confronting formal dressed representatives so I would say formally dressed confronting you see to confront you confront somebody you you say this is not good um, I, I, I confronted my son about the fact that he was always coming home late and drunk while confronting 
Could be. We can do better though. While interacting with, while dealing with, while dealing with formally dressed representatives. For instance, the victim of a rapist would prefer to talk to a specialist dressed informally rather than the policeman in uniform. At the same time, there are important public occasions where guests have to follow the particular conventions of an event of an event of an, an event in terms of uh, dressing. Yeah, in terms of dressing. Let's tr give you an extra word in terms of dress code. Otherwise, they risk me being misunderstood. Very good paragraph again. You've got one left. To conclude, clothing is an essential part of human being. The worst mistake you may so I would say of being human. Many sartorial lovely word choices can be explained either from a psychological perspective or a traditional one. Hence it is crucial that everybody knows how to navigate in this field. Navigate I, instead of navigate this field and dress appropriately. And I had 284 words originally when I counted it first. Let's see how m many I've changed it to. I think it's probably going to be the same. Uh... No, <laughs> I've included all of the other ones. Sorry, Wait, bear with me, bear with me. I was only 400? What? No. Um, 283, perfect. So it's ended up at 283, which is great. Okay, very, very good. I think this is probably one of the best essays you've given me so far, Vyacheslav. Let's see. Answer the question. You answered the question very nicely. Four out of five. I've got no problems with that. Um, communicative achievement. Write style and register for the genre. It's pretty good. You you went over the top here with formality, um, but I think it's certainly uh, a good piece of work. Three, four, three, four, three. I'm going to go for three. Organisation. Coherently organised. The ideas are logical and ordered. It, it follows very nicely. It reads very nicely. It holds the attention nicely. Organisation. Four. Language. Good range of vocabulary and grammar. Definitely. High level of accuracy. Appropriate words. Definitely. Um... There are some mistakes, not many though, very, very few. Um, four, five, four, five, four, four. I think I'm going to give you overall 7.5, 7.75, and I would say that's an A, Vyacheslav. Good work, well done. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.